Hello everybody, Jaded Yumiko here. Today we're back with some more House in Fata Morgana. I know that it's been a quick minute since I've actually played this game. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, if you want to know why, you can check out my uh, last update video. But uh, I figured that to kind of try and get back in the swing of things, we're going to bring back House of Fata Morgana. So uh, it's almost Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Uh, and yeah, I mean, hopefully with how I have things set up right now, <clears throat> I'll be able to get uh, some more recordings in within these next couple of days. So I at least have some like previously recorded footage to get out to you guys. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right on back into it. Let's not waste a single second. All right, to prove he's alive. So we are now playing back and forth as the beast and also as um the merchant's fiance the merchant who initially spiraled the beast kind of out of control into his killing spree so <clears throat> who's speaking oh her okay it's <clears throat> there's still no trace of him it's been a week and i found nothing Considering my time limit, that needs to change fast. But... Um, excuse me, have you seen this man? This is a drawing of what he looks like. Sorry, never seen him. Even the smallest bits of information helps. If you've heard anyone who might have seen him... I said I haven't seen him, so I don't know what to tell you. Oh, that's a woman. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> okay. I'm a busy woman, would you mind moving aside? Ah, uh, sorry. I was told that he... That my lover lost his life out on work. But I don't believe it. They haven't shown me a body, so their information has to be an error. I have to be the one who finds him. To prove he's alive. I have to follow his tracks. I've heard word that remains of his ship drifted ashore near this village. So if he survived, he must be somewhere nearby. I'm certain of it, but I haven't been able to find any information of the sort. The villagers aren't being very cooperative. They're all just as reserved as the day I arrived. Rather, I get the feeling that they want to stay as far away from trouble as they can. No matter what I ask, I can't get a straight answer from anyone. Everyone's so closed off. Because of the war, I guess. I don't have time for, be to, for people to be glum, though. <clears throat> oh, I have water. Mm. This kid again. Ah! It's that boy! He's at the shore again. Always alone. God have mercy. You again. What are you doing here? I'm totally so callous. I came to get sentimental and watch sunset. So original. What does it matter if I visit the seashore? The ocean doesn't belong to anyone. If I'm so much of a bother, then you're free to leave like last time. You sure are cheeky for an outsider. I know the rest of the village isn't being all that cooperative. Nope. That's what this place is now. Closed off. It's not kind outside us. You really gonna be able to keep up the surge with the entire town stonewalling you? Yes, I will. I won't give up. For any reason. I have to find him to bring him home with me. Lady, you're... My name isn't Lady, it's Pauline. Pauline. Lady is... Pauline. <laughs> Pauline. Is this person you're looking for still alive? He is. He has to be. Is that so? Well, have fun with that. I doubt you're going to get any help, though. Ah! He really left. Don't lose heart, Pauline. If you lose faith this easily, you'll never find him. He is alive. 
He is alive. I have faith. I believe. Oh, I thought you left. Take it. You're running the scenery, pacing around. You're running this. Yeah, running, ruining. You're ruining the scenery, pacing around on the beach. Is this an orange? They grow pretty large here, huh? Yeah, the oranges around these parts are pretty good. People used to come out here just to buy them, in fact. And he went to get one just for me. I just wanted to get rid of you. Once you finish that, get lost, alright? <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. You're not so bad after all. Like I said, this isn't me being nice or anything. Oh, there you go again. Yeah, yeah, I've got you all figured out, little man. You're actually a very sweet boy. And you were, really were trying to cheer me up, weren't you? Yavi. What? My name. It's not Little Man, it's Yavi. Alright then. Yavi, here it is. I don't know if I should say Javi, because I, I thought it was like Yavi is in like some kind of like Nordic sounding name, but I guess it's Javi. It's a little bit, a little bit simplistic. Okay, Javi. Javier it is. No, not Javier, just Javi. I don't see what the big deal is, but okay. You say, Javi, I really think we should be friends. What? Come on, let's be friends. Don't say you don't need any. You can make me friend number one. We'll have lots of fun. You just want to use me in your search, because you can't get the villagers to talk on your own. No, I mean it, really. You're wasting your time. I'm just as, as much trouble for them as you. Using me isn't going to get you anywhere. Trouble? What do you mean by that, Harvey? Nothing you need to la no lady. Bye. And stay away from the shore. Ah, uh, ho hold on for a second. What? Pauline. Huh? My name isn't Lady, it's Pauline. Listen to me, Harvey. I have no intention whatsoever of using you. I enjoy talking to you and I think it'd be fun if I could do it more. That's why I want to be your friend. I can find you here at the beach, right? I'll be back, Harvey. You won't change my mind. I will make you my friend, Harvey. What the hell, lady? Did you hear a word I said? I don't need any damn friends. And stay away from the beach. Nope. And you will be my friend. That ain't happening. Wait, Harvey! See you again. I'm not kidding, I will come back. I had actually at first been thinking that it would be easier to get information if I could make friends with someone from the village. That orange Harvey gave me when I was sad and alone and hurting it was so amazingly fresh and delicious. More than any orange I've ever had before. It was almost as though Harvey's kindness was seeping directly into my mouth. I'm sure we'll be able to get along. I want to be his friend. Time is the only thing moving forward in my search. Some days I would ask my mom's friend, Orlando, to accompany me on my trips outside the village. But no matter where I go, I just hear the same thing. The view of the ocean always keeps me from getting too dejected. It's an unimaginably huge chasm that keeps us apart. But at the same time, there's something beautiful about the way the sea encap encompasses the entire world. The Emerald Expanse. It simultaneously robs me of him and soothes my heart with its stunning brilliance. Perhaps I feel such awe and admiration for it, because I was born along the seaside. <laughs> He's not here today. Harvey, are you there? That's odd. I can always find him here. 
hey Harvey, where'd you go? Ah! Oh no. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. A, a pitfall? That's not very nice, Harvey. What? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> because you won't f stop following me around. You have any idea how annoying that is? It doesn't mean you have to do something so cruel. <laughs> Maybe now you'll learn your lesson and stay away from the beach. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> wah, wah. Hey. <laughs> wah. <laughs> Wait, you're seriously crying? Hey, don't cry. Just kidding. I'm not crying. Well, come on, you were faking. You tricked me. You played the first mean prank, Harvey. You really scared me there. I kept telling you to. St oh, I kept telling you to stay away. It's your fault for constantly refusing to listen. I'm surprised you haven't gotten bored yet. You must have a lot of time on your hands. I most certainly do not have a lot of time. My deadline for how long I can be here is quickly approaching. But I'll just keep depressed if I spend all that time searching. If I can have some fun with you, Javi, I'll have more energy. Fine, eh? So you still haven't found them? N no. You don't even know if the guy's alive or dead, just... <sighs> Forget it. I'm out of here. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, ow! Ow! Come on, you're not going to fool me again. No, I'm not joking around. I really... Uh. It looks like I twisted my ankle. <laughs> but I'll be just fine. Don't worry about me. Right there. Uh huh? Come on, let me see your foot. Uh, alright. Ankle swollen. At least I'm to land properly. What? You're going to blame me when you're the one who dug the hole? No one's ever gotten hurt in a trap that basic. At least none of my friends ever did. Wait, I thought you didn't have friends, Harvey. Oh, shut your damn mouth. I'm going to bandage your ankle. Oh, I see. You want to get the bandage for me? Thank you. It was... my fault anyway. <laughs> Swap it out for a real bandage when you can. I'm sure your acquaintance has some. Really? It looks just fine to me. This filthy thing isn't suitable for someone like you, lady. Pauline! Quit that. What do you mean, not suitable? Do I have to explain everything? You're from a pretty well-off country, aren't you, Pauline? Well, compared to that, this is a poor village. We don't even have clean bandages to spare. We just grow scraps of cloth like this. It's not something you should be wearing. You think so? But you gave it to me, Harvey. I won't be changing it anytime soon. Tell me, Holly, Harvey. Do you not like this village? The only thing this place is going for us is the ocean. The ocean? That's the one thing that doesn't change, no matter what. It's always beautiful. I see. You like the ocean too, Harvey? I just don't have anything else to like. Oh, there you go again. Oh, I've got an idea. Harvey, Harvey. What now? A rowboat! I want to take a ride in a rowboat. Why do you want to get mad if we borrowed the one tied up over there for a little bit? I doubt anyone would care if it's just for a little. Can you row though, lady? You'll do the rowing, Harvey. Huh? Why me? What's the big deal? The water's mostly calm today. I think a little walk on the sea would be lovely. Can you call that a walk? Sure you can. Come on, let's go. Give me a hand, Harvey. God, you are one cheeky outsider.
breeze feels different on the water than it does on the beach, wouldn't you say? You think so? All, all the same to me. <laughs> no, it's definitely different. The smell of salt is stronger and there's moisture in the air. It's kind of like someone gently caressing your cheek. I'm not getting any of that. You're way too perceptive, lady. Am I? Close your eyes, Harvey, and feel the breeze. I bet you'll get what I'm saying. Go on, close your eyes. No, I'm not going to. What? Why not? I just don't want to do what you tell me. Oh, no need to be petty. The sea is not always so kind. The hand that's gently caressing your cheek can in the blink of an eye become the wrinkled hand of a witch that destroys everything it touches. The ocean is a scary thing. It's, not, it's nothing we humans have any chance of standing up against. You're right. And I know it very, very well. The man I'm searching for was in a shipwreck. I was told it killed him. I refuse to believe that he would just leave me behind like that. Sometimes, on a whim, the wrinkly witch might have mercy. I'm not so sure about that. I trust in the sea's gentleness. I don't think it's all scary. This soft breeze, these calm waves, they saved him. I'm sure of it. He loved the ocean too, you know. He, always, he was always looking far into the distance out across the water. His head held high, a stern, unwavering look in his eyes. I'm assuming he's your lover. Yes. He's very dear to me, and I love him deeply. Oh, I see. He was really fond of the sea by my hometown. You live in a decent town, huh? Yep, it's wonderful. It's so peaceful and everyone's so nice. There's not a single bad person living there. Oh, I know, Harvey. You should come visit my hometown sometime. Visit your home? Yeah, the ocean there is really pretty too. The colours are a little deeper than they are here. It's like so many jewels sparkling in the light. I'm sure you'll love it, Harvey. I'd love for you to come and visit. We can go see all sorts of things. There's a shop that sells great ham sandwiches. I don't have the money for a trip. Maybe not now, but you could in the future. Or, if you're interested at all, I could ask Orlando to bring you back with us, Harvey. If you don't want to stay here, that is. Along with the guy you're looking for? Yep, I'm sure he'd be happy to have you along. Give it some thought. You would enjoy it, I'm sure. You sound like a child. Huh? Nothing. I doubt I could even get permission to leave. Permission? Oh, right. Are your parents very strict, Harvey? No. They're dead. Both my mom and dad. What? They were murdered. So I'm staying with an acquaintance. They try to work me like a horse, though, so I sneak out here when I get the chance. W was it... in the war? The war? What are you talking about, lady? Uh-huh. Wasn't this country involved in a war not too long ago? There was a war, yes, but no soldiers ever reached this village. Then... why would they... be killed? It was the beast. The... Beast? Yes, the beast. He showed up one day and destroyed everything. The peace, my family, my friends. Merchants and travellers visiting the village. Everyone and everything. He slaughtered everything. And then disappeared. That man. That bestia destroyed everything. He's a murderous beast. The whole village is terrified of him. They go through their days like lifeless dolls enveloped in his storm cloud of terror. Bestia. A murderous beast. So the grim air hanging in the village isn't because of the war. 
It's because a beast has been killing people. A beast? Why would... But... Uh, hey, Harvey, you said there were merchants and travellers visiting the village. Can you describe them for me? They're all sorts. Like one who stopped by on the road to somewhere else. Oh. And an international trader on his way to purchase goods. Oh, so he does know her her fiancé. Alright, I guess we're going back to the beast now. Alright, the plot thickens. So I guess the big question here and the big anticipation is... Should we expect the beast to be killed? Or is he going to kill everybody else kind of thing? Alright, let's see. <clears throat> I'm guessing this is a flashback. Water. Water, water. Water, water. I just need some water. Just some water. Ah. Uh. Will they attack me again? No, if I ask. Did they look like they were open to requests? No, they tried to kill me. They almost killed me. They threw stones at me. They did more than that. Hoes and knives and sticks and I don't know, things I didn't even recognize. They hit me with them. Uh, uh, they tried to kill me. They looked like they were going to kill me. I almost died. I'm on the verge of death even now. My throat is sore. It hurts. No, I don't feel pain anymore. It burns. Does it burn? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm so thirsty. Water. I just need water. Will they not give me any water? Why? Why not? Because I'm a bestia. Uh, uh, um, because I'm a beast. Because I don't need to live. Because I don't need to. Because I don't deserve to live. I'm a beast meant to die. Am I meant to die? I'm thirsty. My stomach's probably empty too. I don't know anymore. I'm hungry. So very hungry. I can't take it. 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 Uh, uh, water. I just need water. Just some water. What must I do to get some water from that village? As well. A well. A well. I can find a well. There has to be a well. I know what that is. I know what a well is. What else do I know? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. I have no memories. I have nothing. I'm a beast. A newborn beast. Mm. Mm. What is this? It's buried. It's red. It feels rough. Uh, 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 <laughs> there was something. There is something. Something I know. I know this. There's, this is mine. It must be. It's mine. I know this. It's mine. I know how to use it. How to touch it. How to hold it. How to swing it. I know what this is. What to do with it. What it's for. I know that this, that with this, I can find an equal footing with them. A beast. 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 I am a beast. Beast meant to be ridiculed, to be hated, to be resented, to die. But I want to live, which means I have only one option. Only one way, only one. With this, I must overthrow those who tormented me. I can do that. Water and food, I can get that, I can get anything. <sighs> Who could that be this time of night? Who's there? You shouldn't answer it. It's probably a beggar or something. These are dangerous times. You're right. How pleasant the world we live in. I wish I have to fear for something like this in our little village. I'm pleasant indeed. I hope, this thing, I hope things go back to how they used to be soon enough. Ah, you just don't give up. Who's there? You're not coming in without identifying yourself. Is this rather strange? What's going on, Dad? Oh, did the noise wake you? There's nothing to worry about, son. Go back to bed, it'll quiet down soon. Uh -huh. oh, ah. Ah. 
What? 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 Uh, 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 Harvey, look away. Where is, where is the bestia? Run, you hear me? Go out the back door and let everyone know. Shout as loud as you. What is this? What's going on? Why? It's blood. Why? It can't be. Why the? How did this? Why? Why? Mom! Dad! B bestia! Bestia! The bestia! You. Why would you? Why? Again, like, is this gonna be revenge arc by Javi and Pauline, or is this like, how's this gonna work out? You know? <sighs> but what's the matter? You sound like you're in pain. Would you like me to fetch you some water? Well, water. Don't touch me. Keep your hands off me. Not a particularly restful sleep, I take it. You. Where are you hiding? Why did you disappear? You were always around before. Uh, um... Show yourself. Show yourself immediately. Where are you? Show yourself. And if I did, what would you do then? Kill me. Your thirst for blood. To instill fear. To live. In the face of your desire, others' lives are meaningless. That's the kind of man you are. Or, do you intend to pretend that you never did anything of the sort? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I couldn't help it. I wanted to live. I didn't want to die. Yes, yes indeed. That's the kind of man you are. You'll kill for your own sake. <laughs> You'll kill a child's mother and father. As he stands there watching. They... They tried to kill me first. All of them, the entire village. Calm yourself. Who are you speaking to? Please get a hold of yourself. Silence! Stop talking! Keep... Keep your hands off me. I'll... I'll kill you too. I'm a beast who will kill anyone. Calm down. It's alright. Everything's alright. It's alright. I... I'm a... I'm a beast. Beasts kill and so I kill. Uh. Be slower. I will not harm you and you will not harm me. It's alright. Put your arms around me. See for yourself and I'm not afraid of you. Uh. Mm. This is brilliant. What are you clinging on to this woman for? Is that the only way you could maintain your grip on yourself? It would be so, so much easier if you simply accepted the fact that you're a beast. You've always, always been one, haven't you? Can a beast cultivate love like a human? Weep in sorrow like a human? No, they cannot. It's utterly ridiculous. Damn, okay. Black Iron Maid is going in on this guy. Sh shut up. Shut up, shut up. It's alright. I'm right here. I'm right here. Can I... Can I trust you? Of course. This little facade will be over soon enough. It will land at that woman's hands. Because that's what she's here for. To crush your soul into tiny pieces. Huh. Interesting. The black-haired maid seems to have kind of taken like a complete 180, you know? Huh. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go on a whim and say this is Pauline. 
We met three years ago. I thought for sure I'd get burnt. It seemed to be the hellishly pounding sun on that sweltering summer day. It's only ever on days such as this that we end up having lunch outside. I'm not just out of the house. Oh, what did you say? Literally outside. The heat was searing. I could hear the cry of seagulls in the restaurant's terrace. I remember that day clear as crystal. Ah oh, yes, I have to say, the food is spectacular. And I love that they give you so much meat. Though I thought my gut had exploded the first time I saw it. <laughs> Wouldn't you say so, son? Uh, indeed, uh, yes it is. By the looks on your face, I see you're already feeling it. You're not going to make it in this line of work without a big old stomach, son. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of this country's food. One taste and you never forget it. I'd like to bring the entire cuisine back with me if I could. This is the first time we've seen you in how long that you're talking about food. The first thing you asked when you arrived was, Is the restaurant by the seaside still open? For goodness sake. Is your heart made out of stone? What? What? Would you prefer we discuss the mundane? Why don't we talk about market developments and our spices inventory? It's not what I meant. <laughs> mm. It's hot. My parents' relationship is on thin ice, but the air feels like it's on fire. It's much too hot. My dad loves this seaside restaurant. It actually specializes in fish, but he always asks for meat. Though, I always isn't very often. He's out of the country most of the time, so we rarely eat together as a family. <clears throat> for that reason, I can usually put up with a little heat for a family gathering. I'm gonna take a drink of water. <clears throat> Today, however, is awkward. Go on, son, dig in. You can't find food this good back home. Uh, as you say. Every course, the table is lined with meat, meat, and meat. You haven't started to feel heavy in the gut. At this rate, I might turn into meat myself. Mm. What kind of meat would I turn into, though? I guess beef. Maybe, if the meal keeps on like this. Just how much food are you planning to order? I can't believe you. Why did I ever marry you? Come now, we're out as a family. You could stand to be a little more pleasant. And who do you think is making me unpleasant? N now, now? Now, now, now? From time to time, our eyes meet. But every time they do, we both avert our gaze. This goes on throughout the meal. My father invited him to lunch. Dad introduced him to me as his right hand, so I assume he's also a trader. His eyes are somewhat narrow, his posture perfectly upright. He looks so very non no nonsense and not especially affable. Frankly, he kind of scares me. Uh, hey, Dad, are we going anywhere after lunch? I figured since we're all together, maybe we'll take a walk or visit some place out of town. Hmm? Ah, yes, hmm. Actually, I've got a letter to write after this. A letter to one of the big weeks back home. So I'm planning to head straight back to the trading post. Oh, okay. Can't say I'm especially surprised. What do you want me to do? It's work and it has to be done. If I could get an audience with him in person, maybe this wouldn't be necessary, but that's not possible. So I have no choice but to write a long, long letter. Oh yes, Pauline. If you're going on a walk, bring him along. I'm sure he's tired of putting up with me day in and day out. What? Oh, no, I'm... Hold on now, could you please leave Pauline out of this? She has things she needs to do. What's the big deal? You want to know about an area? Ask him who lives there. That's the best way to learn. Besides, you'll stick it out. You'll stick out like a sore thumb wandering around on your own, son. But I couldn't. Um, I... You don't mind, do you, Pauline? Uh, not at all. God, you're the most inconsiderate man. Mom says, then means in and whispers to me. Listen to me. Do not let your guard down around a foreign man. And my father is, in fact, a foreigner. And the man he brought to lunch is from the same country. Um, 
Is this a park? Indeed it is. It is a park. My assignment with the sheriff's man around town is, to be honest, going quite horribly. This is a park. No, just no. Could you come up with anything better, Pauline? But I don't know anything about the history of this park. In fact, I don't know much about anything about this town's history. I just sort of walk around every day, not really paying it much mind. I want someone more knowledgeable be knowledgeable to make a better guide. I can't do it. Don't ask this of me. Also, he... He doesn't talk very much. He's got this perpetually stern look on his face. He really does scare me. Don't worry, Mom. Your daughter won't mistakenly fall for a foreigner. At any rate, regardless of how I feel, I'm still technically his guide. I've got to try it as a harder. I feel I know it won't be easy. And then, uh, there's a fountain. There is, indeed, a fountain. There's a fountain. Again, no. Seriously, Pauline, he has eyes. Uh, but, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not much of a guide. If maybe my dad could show you around instead. D no, don't worry about it. I think you're doing just fine. In fact, I saw you got roped into this. I doubt you much enjoy having to walk around town beside uh, someone like me. What? Uh, no, that's not it at all. Oh, is that so? I'm glad to hear it. Here's an idea. Rather than guide me, how about this? Why don't you show me what you usually do? The places you normally go? Do you really want to see that? I'd prefer to see the town through the eyes of a resident. To see it for what it is instead of what makes good sightseeing. Alright then, um, I often get ham sandwiches from the shops near here. Having lunch on the wall by the fountain is the most wonderful thing. Look over there, you see the butcher shop and the bakery next to it? I buy bread from the bakery, bring it to the butcher, get a few slices of ham and put it on the bread. It's absolutely to die for. <laughs> but you just had a huge lunch. Uh, I'm not getting one right now. Oh, so please don't think I'm as can carnivorous as my dad. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to imply any such thing. Jeez. Wait, hold on. Did he just smile? He did. It was a small one, but he did. He can actually smile. Being human, that should be obvious, but it's kind of strange seeing him do it. Maybe, just maybe we'll be able to get along, even just a little bit. Um... Do you mind if I ask you a question? Sure, go right ahead. Could you tell me about your home country? I've asked Dad, but he won't tell me very much. Ah. Uh. Come on, how about it? I'm really curious. <laughs> he probably doesn't know very much himself. What? About his own homeland? Some don't... What do you... How about that fountain? I'd like to get a closer look at it. At the spot you say you like to sit. Uh, okay. What was that just now? Did he dodge my question? Is there something he doesn't want to get into? From this angle, it looks like the fountain's hitting the top of the ocean. Ah, yes, it does. It does. If you want, we can go to the beach. It's a straight walk from here. No, I like this view. The sea's a pretty colour here. You can clearly see the white of the fountain on top of it. The sea's a different colour than the fountain. It is. In fact, the sea is often changing colours itself. But out on the water, it can be very easy to overlook. It can be the colour of emeralds, or deep blue like sapphire, or almost black like obsidian. The sea has a face, and with it many expressions. Huh. I'd like to see that. Maybe I'll ask Dad if he can take me out of his ship. You have quite the adventurous spirit. Not many women say that they want to ride a ship. You think? I want to go everywhere that I haven't been before. I want to see for myself that the world extends beyond, beyond this town. Ah, that's a fine ambition. Hopefully in the next 
The time will come when anyone can have access to a ship with relative ease. He actually smiles quite a bit, I guess. Though he seems to be talking pretty comfortably, too. He's a lot more friendly than he looks. He appears almost notable, though he looks out at the sea. His gaze steadfast and unwavering. Oh dear, that was close. He almost deceived me. He's a foreign man, and I'm simply his guide. You mustn't ever think that you've gone close to him just because you're able to hold a brief conversation. By the way... Mm -hmm. uh, pardon me, yes? The Lord of Jewelry. What, this? Oh <laughs> yes, it's absolutely splendid. <laughs> My dad brought it back for me. It's of a peculiar design with the unusual accessories. The moment I saw it, I said, Oh my! Oh my, I said. It's so pretty, I want to show it off to everyone. I... I see. Oh, it's just so magnificent. He actually has a decent eye for clothing. I guess he's more... more in that head of his than neat. Actually, um... Mm hmm? I... Brought back that outfit. Huh? When, when I heard I was going to meet my boss's daughter, I thought it would be best if I brought back some kind of gift, so I had Taylor imitate the style of my homeland. I'm delighted that it's to your liking. Well, well, what? Uh, hold on a second. Yes. So you're saying these clothes I'm falling over will be given to me by you? And you had them made for me. Indeed. I'm completely oblivious. Here I am wearing them now. More precisely, you've been wearing them ever since lunch. Well, well, why didn't you say anything before? Th this is humiliating. I want to bury my head in the sand. But, but I thought you liked them. I, I do. I do indeed, but... Having never met you, I wasn't sure what colours you liked. I'm, uh, I was relieved to see you wearing them. They look nice on you. He says with a smile. He's always standing up perfectly straight, always looking stern and no nonsense, and he kind of scares me. But he's a gentleman. I, I'm going to change. What? I'm going to change. I'll be back in five seconds, so just wait here. Uh, five seconds isn't feasible. Oh God, help me, Mum. I really, really need your help. Because my heart just skipped a beat. For a foreign man. My boy getting busy. Now my, he getting busy. Alright, I think we're going to go ahead and end it off there. I feel like it's a pretty decent ending spot. I'm starting to lose my voice just the slightest bit. Uh, how do we say it? Here we go. Save. Bang, bang, bang. Her beloved. Okay, we've moved on a little bit. Awesome. And then return to entrance. All right. Okay, so some very interesting developments, specifically between <clears throat> Pauline and Javi, as well as between the beast and the white-haired girl and the black-haired maid. So, let's let's kind of start digging into this a little bit. So it seems that both Javi... Well, it seems like obviously we're getting to a point where Pauline is about to discover that her fiancé was actually killed by the beast. And I think that's probably going to tighten the relationship between Javi and Pauline even more. And possibly even lead to them maybe you know leading a murder party against the beast you know taking him out once and for all that's very possible um and then on the side of the beast it's a thing where clearly he's really starting to lose his shit it seems like he's kind of finding conflict within himself with like Oh, but I am a beast and I've done all these horrible things, but I'm trying to live like a human, yada, yada, yada. And that those feelings are being perpetuated by the taunting of the black-haired maid. Which is kind of curious because the black-haired maid has kind of very rarely, I guess, 
directly interjected in these things. Like, she's had involvement before, but never it was never anything malicious. So it is kind of curious that now all of a sudden she's seemingly egging the beast on to try and cause him to lose his shit. So that's kind of interesting. And then there's obviously this kind of weird connection between the black-haired maid, the manor, and the white-haired uh, girl. They're, they're all kind of connected somehow. And I'm very curious as to why that is. I mean, I, I, and I, I can't even fathom what that could possibly be right now. I mean, it, it's clearly some kind of supernatural thing with the manor granting the wishes of, you know, its inhabitants kind of thing, or its master, I guess. And then the both the white-haired girl and the black-haired maid seemingly being immortal to some degree. Um, so that's very curious, but yeah, I mean, I, I, there's so many questions here. Um, and it's certainly, this story is just as intriguing as the first one. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see if it has just as terrible an outcome. Cause I would assume that at this point, ideally it would be, okay, the beast gets killed and you know, Pauline gets over her dead fiance. Sure. Which, that's not necessarily a great ending in and of itself, but it's certainly better than some of the potential alternatives. So, uh, I guess we'll just have to see that. But, that's going to be it for this time. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video, and tell me in the comment section below what you'd like to see me play next. If you enjoyed this video, or any of the videos you see on my channel, then I highly recommend that you hit the subscribe button, and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when a new one of those videos comes out. Anyways, that's it for me, and I'll see you in the next one.